Oh! Are you gonna capsize me? Oh, they got sharks after him. Like a whole ton of them. Goodness gracious. All right, time for us to go. Alright, welcome back everybody to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to go attempt to bring our Anki across the water here. So I've got the Ank um, pretty pretty much directly across from where we are right now, sitting in a, a stone building. I flew back with the birds and got uh, brought back the Baryonyx and uh, we've got some uh, scuba gear that we're going to adorn now and let's see i made that newer pike that we found the blueprint for and we have a crossbow The probably the biggest potential threat in making this trip to us is going to be the nideria the jellyfish so we're going to really be care careful of those I'm not really too worried about most of the other critters um, because uh, I think our berry's pretty tough, and we've, we've got a lot of levels to get on it too, so. Okay, we got another shark here. We just have to watch his stamina. Is that shark? My goodness. Let's get back up to the surface here. I'm trying to get him up on top of the. Yeah, see, there's some Nideria. Oh, and eels, too. They're probably at least as bad. All those rays were following us. Okay, well, let's get his stamina back. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, we don't want to go that way. Okay, let's go back this direction. See, the problem is I don't want to... Oh, shit, man. There's eels all over the place. I just don't want to get out in the middle of the sea and then have him run out of stamina because that would not be good. What is up with all the rays? My goodness. This is a, a dangerous place to cross. It's the narrowest spot, which of course is why I chose it, but can he get up here? Not too easily. Okay. Damn it. I mean, I guess the other thing we can do is just go straight across but it's not so much getting the baryonyx across to that side it's getting back to this side with the inky intact and you know what i did oh never mind i was gonna say i took off without the inky saddle but no i didn't have that with me um okay yeah why don't we why don't we just see if we can just get across because the other thing we could do is we could we could bring the Anki along the coast over more towards the swamp in hopes that that crossing is not as dangerous as this one. Yeah, so let's let's go. We're just gonna try and avoid everything and go. Whatever that shark is, it's pretty high level because. He wasn't even bleeding. We've got to stay away from the eels. They are, hands down, the most dangerous thing. 
Well, aside from like an alpha. So we'll just get all the way across, get to the ink, and then I might walk it up the coastline, like I said, uh, up further west, closer towards the swamp, and then try and cross there. Anybody chasing me? Nope, I think we've outrun all the bad bads. The baddie bad bad bads? We're just gonna demolish this stuff. Don't care about taking it back. In fact, if we demolish the foundations, it'll all come crashing down. Okay, let's get the ink saddle on Horny here. And yes, that is the name of my ink leosaur. A fitting name, I think. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take Horny up the coast a little bit more uh, over towards the swamp and then try and cross over there. I mean, we, we've got to go that far west anyways because our base is all the way to the west. So might as well do it on this side. And then, because uh, I think the crossing will... Hopefully be a little bit safer over on the other side. So I will meet you guys uh, over there when we get to the point where we're going to start to cross over. Okay, guys, we are um, all the way over uh, to the west here and ready to cross over. I think um, before we do that, though, it probably would be a good idea to build a raft. I just want to make sure there's no lead Scythicus around, so let's tell uh, Horny to just hang tight here, and we'll take a quick peek in the water to see if there is a leads around. And then if there isn't, it's going to be safest, I think, for us to just do a raft. Okay, so let's take a peek here. Got a shark there. There's some oil that's pretty, pretty shallow. Yeah, we don't have to worry about sharks or any of that kind of thing with a raft. Yeah, I don't I don't see a leads and I don't see any jellyfish or eels either. There are a lot of sharks. Okay. So I think we can we can safely go across on a raft here. Okay, so let's see. What do we need for a raft? We need... Put this down here. We need fiber, hide, and wood. Uh, we got a little bit of wood already. I'm not going to do points on the Anki yet. You got hide. And I do have, fortunately, my sickle with me. It's no fiber, we just got to get the wood. And we got it. Yeah, when, I, I don't think we'll have any trouble getting across uh, this channel. We'll have to see how things are looking across the other channel. Put you on passive. Uh, 
And across we go. I'm probably going to travel across the island on foot. Um, because if we go around, we could still run into a leads. That's, for those of you who don't know, that's the, the big whale thing that'll capsize your raft. What in the hell was that? Oh, a Sarko? Or not a Sarko, a, one of these bastards. Capro. Leave that raft there. And that way we can use it, you know, to cross over again at another time if we need to. Is he coming? There he comes. I think it'll stay there. I don't think it'll go anywhere. There's a level 50 male berry. Just uh, kill the spino. All right, we're doing uh, melee damage on you. Okay, let's go. Well, we don't seem to have much of a shore here. Uh, there is one down here, though, I guess. Every time I've been over here, I've always flown, so I wasn't really paying that much attention to it. Uh, there's those giant turtle things out there, too. I don't know if those dudes are hostile or not. I hope they're not. Oh, man, we don't want to tangle with that thing. Here, we got a bit of a shore here. Yeah, I see there's more Nidereas out there too, but I don't think those are a problem for us on the raft. If nothing else, we can avoid them, even if they do come after us. Um, and I wouldn't I need to actually harvest them some more too. I've got some of their biotoxin. But we're not um high enough in level yet to make the darts for it anyway, so until we are, it's not a whole lot of use for it. Okay, so let's see. We still have fiber. We got hide, and we just need to get some wood to make our second raft. Uh, a little more fiber, too, it looks like. The Anki should be on his way over here. Okay, that takes care of the fiber. There we go. Oh, Horny's in the water. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Dang it. I forgot to check to see if there was a leads under the water. Well, if there is, there is. Are those those guys aren't even chasing us. Okay. That's good to know. Is that turtle thing bleeding or is it just... Yeah, it's got like a lot of blood on it. Something's been attacking it. Or is it even dead? Oh! Are you going to capsize me? Oh, they got sharks after him. Like a whole shit ton of them. Goodness gracious. All right, time for us to go. We're not messing with that. <laughs> Crap. That wasn't just one or two sharks, man. All right, we made it across. Beautiful. Okay, so I want to kind of get a feel for the Anks' weight, and I've got, let me drop a couple things here, and his stamina, uh, before I decide, you know, what to start putting points in. Stamina actually seems to be pretty damn good. 
So let's just start hitting rocks and seeing how the weight's going. Okay. Yeah, I think for starters, I mean, he's already got a thousand stamina. The health is pretty good. I think I'm going to pump weight and melee. At least for for starters, and then we might give him a little more health too. But I think we're good on the stam. Yeah, he's already pretty heavy. Um, let's get rid of that stuff, and even, we don't even really need him to have stone. That's what we got the dodic for. So we'll do wait. Uh, the berry's right on right in my butt here. It might be better if he follows me instead of the Inky. You know, these guys can get berries too, can't they? I just remember that. I think it's our... Is it right click? Yep, sure enough. Okay. I don't think they're as good at getting berries as the Stego is. Unless something's changed, but... Uh, it's nice to know that you do have that option, but I'm going to throw the berries out. We'll leave the Tentos in for him to eat. The main things are, you know, flint and metal that the ink gets. So getting the Anki up to where the metal is, there's one spot that we can get to easily. Uh, that's going to be a little tricky until we can get a Quetz, um, or maybe I build an elevator or something. We'll have to see how that works out, I guess. But we made it back safe and sound. both of these guys follow okay guys um i'm gonna cut the camera here and try to get situated and then figure out what the next move is uh, i'm not even sure how much time we have left in this episode uh because i'm gonna have i have several cuts uh, but if we do have some time left i might at least get started with the build of the main base and show you the first parts of that so i'll see you guys in a bit All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are underway here uh, with our base build here. And uh, I had to rearrange a couple things to get this to fit the way that I wanted it to. But basically, we're going to have these little towers um, on each end of the, of the base here. And then in this center section, we're going to build this out uh, kind of to a point. Um... <clears throat> and it looks like I probably could have maybe held that over to the right a little bit more. But the problem with that, though, is then I start buttoning up against that stone there, and we might not be able to get the floor all the way in. So I think we're going to... Uh, well, the other thing, too, is that corner would, would come off the end of the train based upon where everything else is. So I've, I've done this a couple of times, you know, where I've, I laid it out and then picked it back up and laid it out and picked it back up. And I'm not inclined to do it a third time. So I think we're going to leave this the way that it is. And um, for this piece here, unfortunately, these triangle pieces don't match up uh, or line up perfectly with the, the squares. Uh, so I had to put a, a ceiling in there to, to finish that, rounding that off. And I guess we're just going to have a gap there. I don't know what else to do about that. I don't think it, it'll, it probably won't let me hang a wall in there to, to cover it. I mean, I suppose we could try that. Um, oh, and I, I have a smithy here, too, that I had set down over across the way, but then had to move it again. So I'm just going to put it here. And this is just a temporary, you know, holding place for all of our resources. Uh, so let's grab all of the stone off of you guys, all of the wood off of Jerry Mathers, all of the thatch, off 
Cup of Merv. And that gets the main resources in place. Uh, Merv's got some building pieces on him. In fact, I wanted... Yeah, let's grab one of these. I don't think it's going to let me hang that off of there because it's going to clip into the ground too much. Oh, we got a gap there. I might have to fix that too. That might bug my OCD. Let's just see what it does. Yeah, see, it's not going to let me put that there. Uh, but that's all right. I mean, it's not going to be that noticeable. We could even maybe put something in front of it to block it. Um, so I think we're going to stick with this layout because here again, like I said, I just, uh, I don't want to redo it again. Oh, by the way, that reminds me, um, I got to thinking about something when I was editing the first part of this video. Um, some of you might be wondering, OG, oh, why didn't you just take a cryopod out and grab the Anki and bring it back instead of going <laughs> to all that trouble to go on that trip? Uh, the answer is I completely didn't even think about it. Um, and the reason for that is because cryopods to me are, are kind of new. I know they're not new to the game. They've been in the game for a few years, but most of the hours that I have in ARC, uh, were back in the early days, you know, that in 2015, 2016, 2017, and they didn't add cryopods, you know, till much later. So although I'm aware of them and have, have used them, they just, it didn't occur to me to, to do it that way. But you know, the, the trip was fun. A, uh, we made a couple of rafts that we can potentially use in the future, um, so, you know, it was still kind of a fun little adventure anyways, but it was a royal waste of time. Uh, but that's the reason. So there you go. Sometimes that's just the way it works. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build this out to a point. And I don't, hmm, I don't know if, yeah, we're going to, well, okay, hold on a sec. I had an idea for this, but maybe I'm going to change my mind already. So that, that does line up there. And can we put... That could look cool. We could put another row of foundations in too, but then that's going to kind of mess up the idea of, of the tower at least. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm going to leave it the way that it is. Um, all right. So this, if, okay, if we did this and we build a stairway down below, it's going to have to be a double wide stairway, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, this would even be wide enough for us to put a dino gate on too. And then we could bring dinos up from that direction. That wasn't actually my original plan, but let's see what this looks like from bird's eye view. The whole point in doing this too, by the way, if it isn't already obvious, is just to kind of break up the, the boring old, you know, rectangular box kind of thing. So none of this stuff is, is functional per se, but it's just gives the base a little little more pizzazz um i'm not <clears throat> i'm not sure i'm convinced that i like this though let's let's do it the other way and uh you know then we'll kind of contrast and compare here so this is what i had originally planned on doing is building it out like this like that but the edge of the building the walls would be on this seam here and then this little section would be kind of like a porch with some rails on the sides and then a single stairway going down from there Hmm. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning more towards that than the other thing. So I think that's what I'm going to do. There is another thing we could look at. What if we... widened it up even more and made this like kind of a big like a foyer type of entrance 
All right, if we're going to do that, we're going to need one, two, three. I don't know, six to eight more. My brain kind of hurts today. I don't want to count. So let's just, um, let's make eight more. And if that's too many, then it's not a big deal. Okay, so let's put... Yeah, like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just making this, making the whole thing a little bit larger. Yeah, I actually, I like that. I think I like that. So, so now what we'll do is this seam here is still going to be where the wall is. But instead, what we'll do is we'll put some rails out. This will be like a little porch. And I still think I'm just going to have a single stairway going down. The, the intention there will not be to use this entrance to bring critters up, at least not big ones. Um, but I like this because it's not quite so pointy <laughs> as the other version was. Okay, that's cool. Um, now, as far as the back goes, the back of the base, I think... We're going to have a little bit of trouble possibly doing anything fancy back here if that whatever that fancy thing is comes out this way because of this, you know, stone here. Um, but what I was thinking is... We could either have... Two larger, uh, you know, rounded corners on the back end and have the, the, the back itself straight. Or we could do almost a mirror. So do the same thing in the back that's in the front. But I don't know if I like that idea. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to give that some thought and see what kind of pattern I want to come up with. The, th the other thing to keep in mind, though, too, is the the more intricate we make the foundation pattern, um, the bigger the pain in the ass it's going to be, or the roof pieces in particular. There's usually a way to make it work, but it does make things more complicated when you go to start putting the roof on. Okay, guys, I think I figured out uh, what I'm going to do with the back here. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to... Put four triangles there, two triangles there, and two triangles there. Let me double check, make sure I... No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. I I know it's a, it's, <laughs> it's a little weird on both sides. In fact, here, do I have enough to... I have enough to fill this in. Fill that in there, and I need to make two more to fill that section in, and then this can be like that. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for the back end. So here again, just to kind of break things up a little bit so it's not just a boring old box. Um... So let me make two more of these, then we'll get a final bird's eye view of it, and then you'll see how the the foundation, anyways, uh, layout of the base is going to be. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but this, this might be somewhat similar, or maybe it's very similar, uh, or even potentially identical to the last time I played Ark about two and a half years ago to the base I built. But... If it is identical, that's coincidence. It's not something that I di deliberately did. But it seems to me like this is kind of something similar to what I did before. So let's get back here. Get into bird's eye view. And yeah. that's a, And of course we're going to fill In fact, I might actually make the center of the floor wood. Again, just, just to mix it up a little bit so it's not just the boring old stone the whole time. Plus, you know, it'll be protected because it'll be inside. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we're going to to go with 
uh, for this base. And it should should come together pretty good. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is just keep working on this now that you have a, a basic idea of at least the you know the foundation and the, the overall shape it's going to be. And at some point, I will bring you back uh, with a progress update on how things are going uh, with the base, and we will go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment to share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.